Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Willa Nagnos and welcome back to my channel. On this video, we're gonna talk about working your database on LinkedIn. Check it out. So what we're gonna do really quickly is I'm gonna show you how to access your database, all your first three connections on LinkedIn. So step one is go to my network, right here. Step one, my network. Step two, you're gonna to wanna to go over here and go to connections. This is where it tells you how many connections you have on LinkedIn. I currently have around 4,000. So you'll click this. And now regarding, well, depending on how you wanna work your database, it just depends on everyone's you know, different, different goals. You now have all of your connections right here that you luckily can filter out by. So step three is go to search with filters. So if you have the regular free, you know, traditional LinkedIn account, this is what's gonna pop up. All of your connections, and I think alphabetical order, you're gonna see all of your results down here in pages of them. What I think is really cool, the second thing, if you have the, if you have the LinkedIn sales navigator, click this right here. And if you don't have it, I recommend you get it. But now what you're able to do is you're able to work all of your first year connections. And let's say that, let's say that you want to retarget all of your first degree connections in the state of, you know, I'm from Chicago. So let's just do Chicago. Actually, let's just do Illinois because we're going to get a larger number around 254 people. Okay. So let's say I have a message that I want to get out to all of these individuals. There's two ways you can get your message out. One is manually message every single person or, or pay for a robot that does all of it for you. You can find plenty of YouTube videos on different types of these programs out there. But this is a great way to have access to your database because now you have all the names. You can sort them by geography. You can sort them by company. You can sort them by title. But I know that you can export all this information onto an Excel sheet with all the information of the individuals. Phone number if available, email if available, um, company website if available, and use all that information for retargeting email campaigns, LinkedIn campaigns, uh, Facebook audience lookalike campaigns, phone uh, calling lead campaigns. There's a lot of different campaigns you can run. And if you think to yourself, oh, I have all these clients, but I don't know how to access all of them because I'm not really organized, you have a LinkedIn for you. It's just, it's just amazing. The next thing you can do, and I don't need to show you any visuals for this, is hashtagging industries. Every day you should be posting some sort of content or making a status, whether it's every day or three times a week, at least, at least three times a week. And so what you want to do is to, to work your database is to hashtag a lot of something similar that's gonna trace back and reverse engineer back to you. So hashtag industries, hashtag real estate, hashtag mortgage, hashtag uh, FHA, hashtag things so that it comes back to you. So when someone sees a piece of content that you put out there, they're gonna find it because of hashtags. Hashtags for you guys who don't know. What a hashtag is, it's a way for you to find something that you would have never found otherwise. It connects people to all search for the same Thing. So if you write um, something funny, like I love my, I love Mondays, mortgages, every single person who searches mortgages in the hashtag section of LinkedIn or Instagram or whatever platform may be, let's say LinkedIn, because that's what we're talking about. You're going to pop up and they're going to see you because you hashtag that gives you more awareness that gives you more database availability, more space. And it gives you more to work with, which is the point of this whole video, working your database. The third thing you can do, and I mentioned this earlier during part one, what you can do is you can extract all the information that you see on the LinkedIn search, that one page, and export it onto a Google Sheet or onto an Excel sheet. And from there, run different kinds of campaigns retargeting these individuals. It's a great way to work your database. It's a great way to get more referrals. And it's a great way to grow the business. If you have any questions, Please leave a comment if you like this video, subscribe, like, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.